Well, that is Outpost Zero. Let's go ahead and check out that first alien art artif architect artifact. Or should I test the uh, compatibility with the alien containment with the large room on top? I think I'm going to do that, actually. Wait, where am I going? Then I, I just came from here. Where am I going? I am terrible with directions. You all know this. This is kind of cheaty. I really shouldn't be able to do this. Wait, what? Why is that door shut? Did I not go in there? Didn't I come out of there? Oh, is this a different room? Oh. Okay. Oh, is this not a different room? Oh. Okay. Why was the door shut? over here. I should probably complain. Using the prawn suit above land should be prevented somehow. It makes the cold ignored. It may it makes the snow bears ignored. It is just overall too easy. Maybe make hail storms damage it to stop. Yeah, I really shouldn't be able to do this. Where's the water? I parked up there. Oh. My god. How did that attach? Hilarious. It seems okay. that many discoveries concerning your sister surprise you. Okay. 
Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. It's right there. Not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. That was on the map. I have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. <sighs> you were about to die. It was a poor calculation. You lucked out that I came. I shouldn't have come. Oh, I've already been here. What happens if I ram this? Nothing. I mean, I know it's my fault that I am doing that. Then I am, um, using the prawn suit out of the water. It's my fault for doing that. But they really should stop players from doing that. Using the hailstorm to damage this the uh, prawn suit, that would be a good idea. That would really stop players. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I think for now, I'm going to put you here. Because I need more of those, I don't need more of these right now. Let's put these here. I'll deal with that later. Oh yeah, I wanted to test the capability of... Before I do that, I better eat. Okay, I wanted to test the capability of putting a large wetsuit habitat room on top of this to see if it'll give me this uh, see-through floor. Also, I kind of wanted to quilted bed so that's what those are quilted beds hmm. enameled glass titanium lithium I only have one enameled glass Lead.
nice. Oh. And then I go to sleep? Oh. Oh, that is nice. I don't think I can do that with the large room, though. Too bad. I can have a separate sleeping pod. Plasteel. Okay, that is not center. It doesn't look like there is a center. But that comes as close as possible, apparently. Two plasteel ingots, huh? Hmm, that's pretty expensive. Welcome aboard, Captain. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. What am I out of? Oh, I needed actual glass for this? Oh, okay. <sighs> nice. Copper ore and glass. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. of now glass again how much glass is needed how did I not grab enough glass <coughs> oh 
All I know is I am very squished in here. So I need a large room. Let's see if the large room does what I want it to do, however. Ooh. That is not a good sign. It looks like it does not. But, oh my god. Look at all this room for activities. Ooh, that'd be fun to do. Can't do windows, apparently. What about the roof? What was that glass roof? Can I do a glass roof in here? Room glass dome. Doesn't look like it. How do I use a bulkhead? Okay, so it has to be right here for some reason. Why? Let me just put the door in! Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I can fit a large room right here. Why won't you fit? If I go further down, will you fit? <sighs> Jumped out at me, scared the heck out of me. What the heck?
Why? Oh, because I have stuff all over that wall. <sighs> okay, I'm going to deconstruct that room. And, um... Move it closer. I'll probably do that between episodes because, uh, just wasting time here. I don't want to do that. I do need to make more alien containment pods. Oxygen. So that to be interesting. I hate having to move this again, but I also hate how crowded it is. My God, it's so crowded. game foods already. <laughs> so, moving to another room will also allow us to use the bigger grow beds. I don't know what I do about this. I like having this. So I like having this like this, but there's no reason if If I can't use the big thing to have this glass bottom floor, there's no point in having this top one anyways. I might as well lower this one. That's too far. Will this not fit? Are those in the way if I lower it one? Oh my god. Maybe I should just put it over this thing.
I don't have anywhere to put stairs. I could put the stairs right here. That'd be interesting. Let's just take a look at that poster. Nice. Okay, so... That's gonna be it for today. We got Alan. We explored Outpost Zero. <laughs> Oh, what about this stuff? Let's take a look. Alien data. Alien robot. We remember that from the uh, first one. Architect containment cube. Is it life extension, though? What do you define as life? I think... A body's required for it to be life. What? This says Xena works. Oh, nice. That's a nice attention to detail. A redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers. Well, I mean, if you've got a someone's mind in there it's good to have redundancies that's a good concern right there is it truly lossless hmm I don't think it was ever said that it was though Pre-civilized. Hmm. They consider themselves not civilized when they have a physical body. Or before they didn't have a physical body. From seed using specialized blueprints and materials. Such behavior is considered beyond rude. Immediately deleting themselves. Okay. Steam vent. Indigenous life forms. Seed. Did I not did I not look at these already? I thought I did. Frost Acacia. I mean it doesn't look like an acacia tree to me, but okay. Bioluminescent fruit. Can I eat that fruit? Exploitable lantern tree. Edible in an emergency? That was my main food staple in the first game. Leviathan's vent garden. Ah, uh, yes. I, I definitely looked at that guy. Discus fish? And I definitely looked at that guy. Why is it saying I haven't? Spiky trap. That one's new. Snow stalker. Avoid. If entering Snowstalker territory it is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter. Oh, so that, there's a point for the flashlight.
No turning back. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Penguin research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. A reason to use a penguin. probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home... Yeah, that's they what they're going to do. Where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can mm -hmm. cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then... Maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. Task list. To do. Harvest produce from grow beds and plant new seeds. To do. Refill engine oil and coolant in progress. Document completed research samples. Done. Continue investigation of the force field mechanisms at research site zero. In progress. I was supposed to find that force field and be unable to progress through it, but instead I had Alan and he, tur he turned it off. Eh, I see. Send weekly status report in progress. Varnish prawn suits. Repair base hatch door, door hatch door lock. Blah, blah, blah. Perform monthly patrol of remote installations. Recalibrate navigation equipment. Inspect all car cabin air filters. A guide to research station zero. Welcome to your home away from home on 4546B. This brochure will guide you through your new accommodations. Settle in! Sector Zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean, bordered by mountainous terrain to the north and west. This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make for spectacular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by architects as a hub for their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42 into the larger ecosystem. Ecosystem? Ecosystem! Ah, my darn allergy! Get comfortable! Research Station Zero features state-of-the-art facilities including three to six-person accommodations, full science and engineering section, leisure and exercise facilities. I saw no exercise facilities. Although there was that one room that was uh, blocked off. Large grow room and water filtration unit for self-sufficient living. Weather forecasting suite. Prawn Bay. Explore. You, valued member of the Frost Pack, have been chosen to occupy the main sector base just below the primary alien research site. From here you will conduct research into alien communications and technologies, and conduct away missions to unoccupied installations elsewhere in the sector. Sure. More, uh, doctors, huh? Oh, it's Sam, a, a, a you. <laughs> Again, it's probably offensive the way I'm pronouncing that, but I just love that name. Uh, you? Robotics reports to a manual. 
previous position. Current project maintenance. Oh. That's why she was in that other base. They demoted her to maintenance. Wow. Nice. Dr. Lillian. Hmm. Xenobiology. They demoted her to maintenance as well. Okay. Interesting. Altera, don't take your kids to work day. What? Hey, Sam. You want to say hi to my kids? Oh, she was the one with the kids. I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Ooh. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. <laughs> Artifact research notes. Sure. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined Ghosts. with an organic component. I mean, technically, As but Dr. that's Kaslaney's still offensive. As Dr. classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. What is yourself? I mean, I don't think of myself as just a huge hunk of meat and bone and flesh. I And I don't think of myself as my mind. You can't just call these people who have stored themselves digitally as thinking that they are themselves and you can't call them digital ghosts that's offensive that is xenophobic like oh ah uh, what what even is yourself you, you can't dis you can't define that i think a person a person can be a digital ghost that is still a person in my book you have your own thought, your own will. It feels like a person. Sure, you could modify their very being by moving around some ones and zeros. But you could do the same thing for humans just by shoving them full of chemicals. Various chemicals will affect a person's ability to think and what they think about. Alien Intruder, a game of deception, aliens, and paranoia. And uses the Oxford comma. Thank you. Uh, 6 to 15 people. Okay. Game Master. Is this seriously Dungeons and Dragons? But with aliens? Hive Minds, Puppet Master, Blind Street. Where the scientists are, this player observes the game, tries to manipulate the alien intruders to eliminate. Oh, it's more like, um. The House on the Hill. Oh, man. The House on the Hill. Such a good game. Betrayal at the House on the Hill. That's what it was called. Betrayal at the House on the Hill. 
I haven't played that since before the coronavirus. I kind of want to play Betrayal. Maybe I could do an online game. I'll have to look into that. Uh, scientist's job is to survive. Game is broken up into days. This is just rules for a game. Okay. So I am going to look into... Expanding my base outward. Uh, maybe that way. In between episodes, because that is just way too much to do in the stream. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see that. Until then, though, thanks for watching, Bell fans. Bye. We got ourselves another brute shark. Are the penguins fully grown? I was wondering if they'd be able to fully grow. They are fully grown. Look at that. I think I want to move my crypto succuses. My brute sharks. I think I'm going to move the uglier ones over to another one. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to think about what I want to do. But I love that new roof. Oh, so gorgeous. I was uh upset that when you sleep in the bed, you can't see the sky like you can in the um sea truck when you're sleeping. See, you just roll over and you look up at the sky. Oh, so gorgeous. Ah. Ah, nice. I was upset by that, but uh, we can do that here. Still need more spinner fishes. Anyways, I will see what I can do between streams. Thanks for watching, Bell fans. Bye. Oh, next time. Next time. We check out the architect artifacts. Yeah.